guys welcome back to my channel um, today I'm going to be doing this um, double cut crease and it was inspired by Zendaya she did this a long time ago um, like Nikki tutorials redid it a bunch of people redid it um, I've always been wanting to I've been wanting to do this for a while so decided to recreate this look today with what she used maybe it was Maybelline or something like that or cover girl that's what it was cover girl and I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, also, click on the notification bell to let um, yourself know when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to become a Slay Master. And if you want to see how I created this look, just continue to watch. First you're going to want to take an angled brush and a black eyeshadow and just carve out your cut crease. So you'll see me slowly forming that and just making my crease and then after that you will see me filling in the edge of that wing. Next, I'm going to be forming my actual cut crease. I'm going to be taking the same primer that I used, Painterly Paint Pot, and taking a brush and just forming my crease and going no higher than that, just blending it in with that black. Next, I'm going to be taking this color from ColourPop. I'm not sure what the color is called, but I will put everything in the description box below. I'm taking one side of a flat brush and placing that on the inner corner of my lid and just packing that on until I like the colors. Now the thing with ColourPop shadows, you have to continuously pack on the colors until you like. Next, I'm going to be taking a darker blue with the other side of the brush and just packing that on really good, making sure both colors are blended seamlessly into each other as well as into the black. Now this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm going to be taking my 35B Morphe palette and I'm going to be taking an angled brush and starting my second cut crease. Now I'm just going to be taking my Sonia Kashuk pencil brush and I'm just going to be taking little bits of that purple and not even dipping that much into the color. I'm going to be blending both sides. So I'm taking both brushes and just doing that. I kind of sped through that process because it takes a long time to blend those colors. So now I'm just doing my same face routine and I am using the Maybelline Matte Fit Me in 33, um, I believe it's 330 Caramel. And I'm just using a Real Technique Speedy Sponge and packing that on. Next, I'm going to be taking a concealer and starting my highlight. So I'm just going to be packing that on with the brush and then you will see me using my Real Technique Speedy Sponge and using that damp to blend it into the skin.
Next, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to be baking underneath my eyes. Now, I don't let that sit because it tends to make my skin white if I leave it on for too long. So right after I pack it on, I just brush it right back off with a dual fiber brush and make sure you get all of that powder off. Next, I'm just going to be taking this color out of the BH Cosmetics Contour Kit and doing a little bit of contouring on both sides. After that, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of blush. I believe this is the NYX Ombre. I will get the color and list it in the description box below. After that, I'm going to be adding some eyeliner. And um, after that, I will be adding my lashes and just putting that same purple color from the Morphe 35B palette underneath my um, bottom lash line. After that, just take a highlight color of your choice and pop it into the corners. And then I'm going to be using a Kylie Jenner lip gloss to top it off. And that will be the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and comment and subscribe as well to become a Slay Master. And I will see you guys in my next video.